Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. For this reading, this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and messages for the week. So let's see what the cards have in store for you. We start with the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles, it's a card of giving and receiving, of being in a position to be of service, to provide support to someone else. There are times in, in your life when you are more able to do so than others. And so service and support doesn't always have to be financial. It can be with doing a favor or um, making a phone call or you know reaching out to someone that you think is in need. And so it's a mindfulness trait. It's to be aware of your friends and people that you care about. It certainly could be to people that you don't know that you've uh, come to knowledge and that you want to help someone else. In the same token within this illustration are the two beggars here needing the assistance. And so when you need assistance, you know, there's no shame in asking for help and to try to find support. And if your friends are unable to help or loved ones are unable to help, then there are organizations. But, you know, you might just need a little something to help you get back on your feet. And it can be emotional support. So if you feel that you need someone to listen to what's going on in your life, then make the call. If you need more than that, then talk to friends, try to find some, some help. But you know, this is a card of duality. It's about giving and, and receiving when in need. So an awareness for the week, the idea of support. So then we have the Three of Cups. A festive, happy card. Water signs, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we see the three women here raising their, their cups, toasting, having fun. This is sharing, uh, catching up on life, um, having the enjoyment of being with good friends. So whether it's work-related, whether it's family or other, you know, this is a time to socialize. It's a time to get out there. It's a time to, to soak it all in, the interactions that we have. They're life-affirming and... Uh, you know, they're enriching to life. So don't hesitate. If you get an invitation, you know, sometimes it's easy to just stay inside and be on the computer or watch TV or watch Netflix because um, it takes energy and money, some, in some cases money, to go out and to see friends. Well, maybe you have some friends where it doesn't cost money where you can just do something like go for a walk. Do you take them up on that offer. Be with people that you enjoy being with. So let's see what we have for guidance. So we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a major arcana card. So the Hierophant almost looks like this papal, papal figure with the crown and with the crosses on the robe and the red in the robe, and the disciples here. This goes to the conventions of society, to the teachers that we have, to the experts within the conventions and the institutions that we have. Marriage, education, religion. And we learn about dogma. We learn from the teachers, from within these areas. So... This may be a week where you are meeting with someone who is an expert, perhaps. Maybe you're meeting with a clergyman. Maybe you're meeting with a professor or someone within your profession that would be considered a teacher or knowledgeable or experienced. But often this, this goes to the collective thinking for a group of people. And um, 
kind of following those ways. And sometimes those ways aren't meant for everybody. So that is really thinking, uh, that's something that comes up for many folks is, is that you don't really follow conventional thinking. So this hierophant could be a spiritual leader, could be giving advice, uh, could, be, you could be having an opportunity to learn. There is an element here of working hard, doing your part in order to gain reward. And, uh, you know, uh, just see this as someone who, someone experienced that you may need to counsel with, that you may need to work with. And along with this idea of getting guidance, perhaps spiritual guidance or other type of guidance, here's the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles in terms of guidance, this youthful energy, this youthful page holding up the, the, the coin, wanting to know more, seeking knowledge, willing to put in the hard work and the study and the focus on learning everything about that pentacle you can substitute whatever it is that you're interested in knowing about and learning about for that pentacle. More often than not, pentacles goes toward career investments, resources. But it's the idea of working hard, studying and being devoted and being excited about the process of learning. So within this uh, knowledge expert here, knowledgeable expert here, and the youthfulness. There's, a, there's maybe this relationship of getting knowledge for yourself and learning and building uh, your set of skills and your abilities. Hmm. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes, another Pentacles card, another focus on resources and really the approach. The Knight of Pentacles is at rest on this horse and again holding the pentacle. So the focus moves toward resources, your time, your energy, your money, your investments, your career. And he's looking downfield, he's assessing, he may be planning, he may be strategizing. He will more than likely outwork everyone else in order to be uh, successful, to reach that goal. He is goal-driven and accomplishment-driven and uh, may forsake fun and f being frivolous for the sake of being successful. A lot of hard work, perhaps some may say a grunt, grunting away, but really the Knight of Pentacles, as they say, slow and steady wins the race. He's working his plan and has thinking the process through and is devoting, you get a real sense here of devoting energy and smart thinking toward the process of moving toward your goals, whatever they may be, relationship, career-wise, money-wise, um, you know, improving your home situation. And with this Knight of Pentacles as a possible outcome, the Strength card. I always see the Strength card as a welcome card because it's a powerful reminder that you are strong enough to handle whatever you need to handle in life. You have a heart that's big, you have courage, and this card is about the gentleness and the kindness that if we show that, if we show that we're vulnerable, we're really showing incredible strength. And instead of being forceful or domineering or dominating, you know, taming our beastly <laughs> desires, if we can show a soft control through gentleness and kindness, you know, then we put this line in this position. So it's a lovely reminder that whatever happens within your life, you have the inner strength to handle adversity, obstacles, and challenges. It's always there with you. So now let's take a look at uh, 
oracle cards and I would say that this is the affirmation for a week. This is something to think about and uh, maybe reflect on. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. So as I see this wise leader, perhaps you are helping someone wanting to gain experience and knowledge. The Knight of Pentacles often demonstrates leadership, uh, team leadership, taking the lead, getting the job done. And now I'd like to choose an Oracle card for healing. Healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Healthy lifestyle. So, you know, maybe focus on one part of this for the week. Improving your time to sleep, getting more exercise in, planning or meal prepping uh, to have healthy food in the house. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what messages we have for love. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Lovely affirmation with the strength card as well. So whatever's coming your way, you are strong and you have you have the big heart, you have the courage within. Never forget that. And, you know, it, it, it surfaces in times of need. Then you get an appreciation of how strong you really are. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you find something helpful here with this reading. If you do, please subscribe, like, share this video, and comment below. I wish you a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.